What's up guys, it's Andy here, your travelling tradesman with On The Tools and it's been five months now since I packed up all my things, sold my house and closed down my business to travel the world. It has been a ridiculously busy few months, partying and travelling my way through Central America. I've been through Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Roatan and Utila and now I'm here in sunny Mexico. And let me tell you, it is fucking hot for a ginger. Since my last post about leaving it all behind and men's mental health within the trade, I've done a lot of travelling, I've seen a lot of things and I've done a lot of volunteering. Something that I never really thought about doing whilst I've been away. While travelling in Guatemala, I heard about an animal rescue centre that needed help with dog walking, dog grooming and maybe some potential building work. And true to the tradesman form, I couldn't stay off the tools for too long. So I decided to jump back on the tools to build a new puppy pen for these several puppies that were locked up indoors in a tiny metal cage. It is one of the most rewarding things I've ever done and I cannot recommend it enough. I've learnt a lot whilst travelling. One thing being is that I love partying a lot more than I already knew that I did. Another thing being that Factor 50 is my best friend. And finally, that every day is different and your plans change so easily. And that right, Taz? We found Taz one morning in the jungle, absolutely covered in ticks, emaciated, starving hungry and just looking for love. So we scooped him up, gave him a hearty breakfast and then took him straight down the local vets, effectively taking him under our collective wing. So far we've covered all the medical costs for Taz, bought him a travel crate, collar lead, food bowl, all the necessities. Um, but this is where you can come in, we really need help to finish off all his vaccinations, his rabies and we want to get him a passport so we can bring him home. Your donations will go directly towards the rest of his medicines, his treatments and his inevitable neutering. Fuck that. If there's anybody out there who would love to adopt Taz, then please get in touch with me. I'm going to leave all the links below in the comments for the GoFundMe page and for our Instagram so you can follow daily updates of Taz. Um, please support us with what you can. Small as £5 will go such a long way with his cause. Thank you so much from your travelling tradesman and Taz. Mm -hmm.